Top 10 Horror Movies on Netflix. Are you looking for a scary movie to watch tonight? Netflix has a lot of great options. Today, we have gathered an amazing list for you, which has some of the best horror movies on Netflix. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of the video, because in today's video, we are going to list down the top 10 horror movies on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10, directed and written by Robert DeFeo and Paolo Strippolini. A classic horror story is a 2021 Italian horror film. With a rating of 50% on Rotten Tomatoes, the film's process of borrowing and blending ultimately yields unconvincing results. The movie revolves around Elisa, who isn't having the greatest days of late. On her way to Calabria with folks she's never met before, the RV ends up getting wrecked and one of the passengers injured. What's more peculiar is that when Elisa awakens the next morning, she discovers that she and her fellow travelers are stranded in the woods. Soon after, the members of a mysterious cult descend on the wayward companions, forcing everyone to fight for their lives. Number 9. From first-time writer-director James Ashcroft comes Coming Home in the Dark, based on a 1995 short story of the same name by Owen Marshall. Coming Home in the Dark is a 2021 New Zealand psychological thriller film. In the movie, when Alan, his wife and two stepsons opt for a coastline retreat, their weekend of paradise becomes a masterful nightmare when two men known as Mandrake and Tubbs crash their little vacation. A seemingly innocuous encounter with the drifters soon turns malevolent, especially as the family realizes that this chance encounter may have been in the works for over two decades. A powerful debut with standout performances, particularly from Gillis, coming home in the dark, is sure to make us all think twice about hitting the beaches. Number 8. Masterfully manifesting an atmosphere of horror and tension, Don't Listen, is well worth for you to watch. It is a Spanish horror film with a rating of 63% on Rotten Tomatoes, so if you are enjoying a horror night, this might be worth keeping on the pile. Don't Listen stars Rudolf Sancho as Daniel, a husband and father, that is moving into a new home with his family. In the wake of an unforeseen tragedy, a grieving Daniel begins to experience paranormal events in his new home. Seeking out a paranormal expert to get to the root of the supernatural occurrences, what Daniel will discover will change his life forever. A creepy and foreboding haunted house chiller, Don't Listen will have you listening for every creak in your home a little extra carefully. Number 7. Loosely based on Agatha Christie's 1939 whodunit and then there were none, Identity is a 2003 American ensemble neo-noir thriller film directed by James Mangold. The film's incredibly entertaining, even with the measurably predictable twist. With a top-notch cast, wonderful direction, and great play on an old premise, Identity is a must-see. It's a dark and stormy night in the outskirts of Nevada, the perfect evening for a group of strangers to get stranded. Due to flooded roads, the travelers are all forced to take up residence for the evening at a seedy motel. As the night wears on, a murderer amongst them starts picking off the denizens one by one. These sequences of murder and mystery are juxtaposed against the trial of one Malcolm Rivers, a killer awaiting trial for a series of murders he carried out in the apartment building. There's plenty to keep you glued to the pervading whodunit horrors of identity, but the big twist is one you'll carry with you for weeks. Number 6. The director of The Hills Have Eyes from 2006, Horns and Crawl, Alexandra Aja, takes a deep plunge into the popular crossover world of horror meets sci-fi with 2021's Oxygen. The film stars Melanie Lorette as Elizabeth Hansen, a woman who wakes up in a cryogenic pod with depleting oxygen levels, with no clue about how she got there. As the air pours out of her cell, Liz must fight to reclaim any semblance of who she is and why she's been in a cryo-induced slumber. While the narrative may not be entirely fresh, you'll want to watch Oxygen for the breathtaking lead performance from Melanie Laurent, an actor who brings mighty chops to a role that a run-of-the-mill talent could easily phone in. Number 5. A sequel to 2013's The Conjuring, the second installment of The Conjuring series and third installment in The Conjuring Universe franchise, The Conjuring 2 is a 2016 American supernatural horror film directed by James Wan. The film has earned a rating of 86% on Rotten Tomatoes and it is one of the best horror films to watch. In the movie, Ed and Lorraine Warren, a husband-wife paranormal investigation team, are calling it quits after Lorraine receives a harrowing vision of her spouse's death during a visit to the infamous Amityville house. One year later, the Hodgins family of London begins to experience a host of paranormal events after Janet plays with a Ouija board. As the home's occurrences grow more sinister, media coverage of the haunting reaches the Warrens, who decide to travel to London to assist the troubled family. But the Hodgson's investigation could be their last. In this full-bodied sequel to The Conjuring, 
James Wan doesn't back down from his directorial chops in any way, delivering a follow-up just as rich as the original. Number 4. Mostly inspired by the story of real-life serial killer Dennis Ratter, aka the BTK Killer, The Clove Hitch Killer is a 2018 American coming-of-age thriller film directed by Duncan Skiles and written by Christopher Ford. With a rating of 79% on Rotten Tomatoes, The Clove Hitch Killer is a film with direct purpose and it delivers it in a surprising, unpredictable way. For 16-year-old Taylor Burnside, life is all about finding a sense of belonging as a high school student in a town plagued by horrific memories of a relentless killer. Referred to as the Clove Hitch Killer, the slasher murdered 10 women before disappearing without a trace. That is until Tyler discovers a series of photographs in his father's possession that suggest the patriarch and the Clove Hitch Killer may be one and the same. Featuring a haunting lead performance from Dylan McDermott as the father in question, the Clove Hitch Killer takes a patient approach to its scares, weaving a portrait of unsettling scenes that slowly bleed into one another. Number 3. Written and directed by Kevin McManus and Matthew McManus, The Block Island Sound is a 2020 American science fiction horror thriller film. It is an impressively crafted horror indie with a boatload of suspense. So if you're expecting a monster movie, you might be disappointed at the lack of the blood and guts. But if you'll open your mind, The Block Island Sound just might scare the hell out of you. In the movie, when unexpected phenomena begin plaguing the island and surrounding waters of Block Island, Harry, the son of a fisherman, and Audrey, an environmental protection agent, and Harry's sister, are put on the trail of a mysterious and malevolent force. Premiering at the Fantasia International Film Festival, The Block Island Sound spends its time building a lush atmosphere of dread, a moody tone buttressed by believable performances from the main ensemble and tactful directing on the part of Kevin and Matthew McManus. Number 2. It's a tipsy, sun-scorched apocalyptic horror film with rom-com finish that gets as bloody, visceral, and cannibalistic as its USR rating will allow. The Bad Batch is a 2016 American dystopian thriller film directed and written by Anna Lily Amirpower. In a mysterious, potentially post-apocalyptic Texas wasteland, Arlen, Suki Waterhouse, finds herself completely alone and severed from civilization. As she fights for her survival, Arlen is captured by a band of cannibals led by Miami Man. Suddenly in more danger than she was before, Arlen must use every ounce of cunning to survive among the cannibals as she tries to make her way to someone she believes can save her, the dream. But goodness or badness is really all relative. Number 1. If you're on the hunt for a frightening and original horror movie, it's a stellar choice. Written, directed, and edited by Gareth Evans, Apostle is a 2018 period horror film. It's 1905, and Thomas Richardson is on a search and rescue mission for his own sister, Jennifer, imprisoned and held for ransom by a religious cult on a remote Welsh island. Thomas journeys to the isle under the guise of a convert. After meeting with several cult members and learning of their less than lovely intentions, Thomas is plunged head first into a mad world of blood sacrifice and dark mythos brought to life. Filled with nightmarish imagery, impressive acting, and a hearty story, Apostle is a breathtaking addition to the folk horror subgenre. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.